Hello guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create multiple ID cards in Adobe Photoshop within just 5 seconds. Right over here, you can see I have designed this ID card which I will use as a template to create multiple ID cards using variables in Adobe Photoshop. It must be noted that the name of the school doesn't reflect any of the school. It, it is just a random name. And so is the case of the pictures and names that I'll use to create these ID cards. As you can see, I have created this ID card in Adobe Photoshop with all the details given over here. And subsequently, I have exported it as quick PNG, which was brought again into Adobe Photoshop. So for now, we will deal with this PNG image of this ID to create multiple IDs. Before creating multiple IDs, let's define variables that we'll use to create multiple IDs. For that, I'll choose this horizontal type tool and click over here. I'm going to write, click on commit, go to move tool and press the alt key and make a few more copies like this. Let's change the name of each variables like father, change it to class, commit and change it to gender. And that's it. Now create one more layer for the photo and name it photo. And let's define a space on this ID card for the photo. Click on this rectangle marquee tool, drag it over here. This, will, this is going to be the place for the photo. Right click go to fill and from the colors let me choose this particular color click ok and let me give it a stroke as well i think black is good enough click on ok and that's it press ctrl d to deselect in order to create multiple id cards we need to have data stored either in excel sheet or google sheet so that it could be uploaded to adopt photoshop for subsequent actions let me show you where is my data over here, you can see these are the pictures of different students. It must be noted that all these pictures are in PNG format. You can see right over here. Let me open this Excel sheet and I'm going to select five columns and seven rows like this. And now let me write the headers that will be imported back to Adobe Photoshop like name, father name, etc. So let me start from names, father, class, gender, and finally photo. You should have same names with same capital letters right over here in Adobe Photoshop like this. Even slightest of the mistake could ruin everything. Let me put in the name of students over here. Let me write Uzma, Ambarin, Nazma, Tehmina, Samar. Let me fill in the details of father, class and gender quickly. Since all the pictures are PNG format, so I'm going to name them with their name dot PNG like this. U, U, Z, M, A dot PNG. And similarly, we can write A and you can see the flash fill has detected the pattern. Now you need to press simply enter and we are done. After filling in all the data, simply go into the file, save as, browse, desktop, and this is the folder where we have to save it. ID cards. And from the save as type, choose this text tab delimited option. And now click on save. Simply close this file and write over here. This is the new text document that has been created from Excel file. This is the file that we'll import into Adobe Photoshop. Now let's go to Adobe Photoshop, go to image, go to variables and click on define variable. Right over here, we will have to define variables. So the first option that you could see is photo, click on pixel replacement. In the description, you can see assign a variable to the layer to control its visibility, replace a text string or replace pixel. So whatever you are seeing over here, simply put it over here as well. So I'll write photo. Make sure the spellings are correct and the capital or small letters are the same as you have typed in Excel file as well as in your this ID card while defining the variables. Now click on this forward arrow text replacement. Let's put gender. Next class. Next father. And lastly, we have to put the name over here and we are almost done. This is the layer one 
you can see right over here layer one we don't have to do anything with it so these are the variables that we have defined now click on ok again go to image go to variables and click on data sets make sure this preview is turned off otherwise it would create problem go to import select file this is the same file as we have created just now you can, can see id cards click on load click on ok and there we go now as soon as you are gonna click on preview you would see automatically data would get filled over here let me show you preview and there you go as you click on next button you can see id card with all the details of each student is being made right in front of your eyes just look at this how beautiful this is now simply click on ok you can see the photo is gone but it is actually there as you would see i'm going to create all these id cards in bulk simply go over here into file export data set as files select a folder go to let me go to desktop and i'm going to create a folder over here with the name new id card simply select it select this folder now click on ok and you can see all the cards are being generated let me close it to show you so this was our folder click over here and there you can see all the id cards let me click on each one and there you can see the id and let me click on this one as well and there you go in this way you can create hundreds of id cards in simply under five seconds if you have all the data compiled in either microsoft excel or google sheets you just need to bring it right into adobe photoshop and rest of the task is quite easy so that was it for today's video. I hope you have found this tutorial useful. Please give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.